Welcome to the Sicilian Guide, How to Win with Black with the Sicilian Ken. Let's go right into it. This is a starting position. How do we get there? We go from e4, c5, knight f3, e6, d4, takes, takes, and a6. Our starting position. Black has many options. That's why I like this system a lot. And top grandmasters have been using that and they win, especially against lower rating player, very quickly, under 20 moves. So you can do queen c7, and then c6, comes to say b5, and bishop b7. The other knight comes here, and at times, you can even play h5 and h4. We see that. Finally, the bishop here can be any, anywhere on this diagonal, depending on what's happening. So what can white do? Basically, the thing to remember is like all these moves, and I have on the left hand side here a few reminders here on the diagram. It depends on what whites do. So you want to check your move order depending on whites setup. So I will see three main lines you need to know to play this system. Number one, the Maroji bind. So this is very important. Why we play C4? 93, control d5, and have a grip on the position. So that's very important, the c4 move. So c4 move, that's option number one for white. Option number two is typically to play bishop d3, knight in c3 directly, and castle, and then depending, queen e2 or f4. So quick development for white. We will see how to face that with black. And finally, the last system, which is very popular for white, is to play bishop e3, queen d2, f3, knight c3, and then castling. So let me explain on the system Taimanov, which we start with nine c6, a very popular and good system for white is the following. So bishop e3, queen c7, knight d2, knight f6, F3, so typically, time out of player play this, and then castle. And now quickly for white, this position, you can have G4, H4, G5, maybe Queen B1, and white has a very standard, a very strong way to attack, uh, castling long. So the move order A6 is very important because if white wants to develop like that, it will develop Queen C7, bishop b4 but you have full control of the c5 so against the can the Sicilian um, english attack system is not as powerful for white and that's our third option so let's go number one let's see how we deal with the bind so yes mirin here play knight f6 bishop g3 covering e4 knight c6 attacking here, and then white took on c6. Now, smearing took with a g-pawn, and then white castle. So you may say, nothing special, white just developed, and is ready to develop the pieces, maybe knight c3, maybe bishop g5, maybe um, king h1, f4. Now, this position looks normal but black has already a great move and the great move is e5 by playing e5 the bishop can come here the knight can also come here and the bishop from f8 will be in c5 controlling d4 and attacking on this diagonal so it's kind of like counterintuitive because initially we play e6 in the very beginning of the position and now e5 open up the bishop here the knight here and we see 9c5 so white play king h1 idea very simple play f4 f5 to avoid a check on c5 yes mirroring play bishop c5 anyway now on this white developed his knight and so far white you may say hasn't done anything terribly wrong castling 93 White has developed pieces. However, black has a very strong move. 
is 9g4, attacking here, but also attacking h2. Black has a castle, the queen can come here, and some variation, as we will see, even h7, h5 can be a very strong push. So now let's go back on 9g4, what to do, right? So queen h4 is a threat, nine takes f2 is never a threat. So here, white did f3. So the idea would be that if I go with the queen here, then they will take. So that was the plan. However, black has a much stronger move than knight h, queen h4, and this is just to take directly in here first. Now remember, the bishop is controlling here, so if the king would take, queen h4, checkmate. So that's not possible. Now clearly, this is a very dangerous position. We need to prevent queen h4. If white were to play king, queen e1, sorry, then he would simply take, take, Queen d4, threatening checkmate over here, bishop e2, bishop e6, and you have a very strong position, exchange up, you can have castle this way, and this is a winning position. Last try on knight h2, if you try g3 to cover the h4 square, then h5 is very strong, because if the king takes here, you can do queen here, and you're threatening checkmate. Now, if you don't take the knight, and you try to chase here, then you will come here with the bishop, super strong bishop, and rookie one, queen d7 anyway, coming here. So white is lost here, and after nine h2, white resigns. So now let's see quickly how this unfolded. Starting on the castle, e5, king h1, bishop c5, knight c3. Now you may say, well, maybe the big mistake was to allow knight g4. So what happened on f3? Well, on f3, you cannot play knight g4 because it would take, right? But you remember this plan, right? You can start the attack. So let's see how that would work. H5 to continue. So white would probably do bishop G5 to try to control and develop the pieces. H4. Now we want to go here and open up. So therefore white would block with H3. Now queen D4. Very, very important move. You can see that diagonal is very, very, very powerful for black. Now, why we take, why not? Because if you just do a move like that, then you could do queen, knight, h5, knight g3, then you can also do bishop e6 and you have a winning position. So, taking here, taking here, and developing for white. But now you will have rook g8, you have a very strong play on the fire. Now queen c2 to try to develop the rook, maybe queen d1 next, and here bishop h3. The sack work because if white take, then you do that crazy move queen d7, you attack here, and you win. And this is a winning position for black. So let's say rook d1, rook g3, and a4, rook take h3, and this is completely winning for black. So let's go back here. So therefore, f3 wasn't such a good move. And after 93, 94, 11 move, black won. So now let's see a second game where white was a bit stronger playing the c4 move. In our second example, white after knight f6 decided to defend e4 with knight c3. 
In a previous game, White chose bishop d3, and then after knight c6, we saw how e5, bishop c5, and knight g4 was crushing for black. So now, knight f6, knight c3, queen c7. That's a very good position. Again, looking at here, and preparing for bishop c5. Now, white play bishop g3. Now, if white were to play bishop e2, smearing, I played b6, castle, bishop b7, f3 to cover the e4, which is attacked twice. And now, bishop d6. And you can see the bishop is trying to attack here. And the other bishop that is in there, if you start to do h3, you may have knight h5 coming very soon, knight g3, bishop here, and this is really, really looking good. So, instead, bishop g3 played knight c6. Same idea as the previous game, putting some pressure here. Now, knight takes c6 d takes e6, castle, and again the key move, e5, same idea as before. Black does not castle yet, and has this move in mind, this move in store, and we see how the game unfold. So here, white play bishop e3. In this position, stockfish like the move a3, which is very hard to understand, but you would play bishop c5, and now rook b1, trying to prefer b4, and black would play bishop g4, which is very strong because you cannot play f3. And now after the queen moving, queen d7, and on b4, bishop d4. This is the extremely strong bishop here, and the pawn moved here, so you have no way to really move his bishop and it's a good position even on the best move by the engine. Of course, why play a more natural move which is bishop e3 developing a piece, right? So I want to be clear that let's say why would you do h3 to avoid knight g4, then you go bishop c5, queen e2, bishop e6, and if why trying to control this diagonal, take, take, castle and you're perfectly fine you can like go here you control the dark square and you're doing fine here black has, has more than equalized so here bishop e3 the logical move now knight g4 again attacking here here and here now white does not want black to take here so white move the bishop and now Things are getting interesting. H6, Bishop H4, G5. Remember, we did not castle yet. White has castle, and we want to attack with black. Bishop G3, H5. Now we have some idea of going here. Therefore, why did Bishop E2 to attack here? If we play H4, the knight will be hanging. So we do the other move, bishop c5. Look at this position. The queen here to avoid the trade. The bishop looking all the way here. And the knight attacking at h4. Still a threat. So white try to prevent h4 by playing this move. However, let's say why I played the better move, knight a4 comes to mind. Now we would retreat here. Let's be careful. If you come here, that's not so good because this would happen to you. And then you lose a piece. So in this instance, you, you drop back the bishop. Now white would probably do c5 to block. Bishop e6, 
queen c1, f6, and you're in a very good position. If white want to try this, you go here and you're gonna attack h4, h3, probably castle here, or move the king over here, and you have a winning position. So let's see after h4, what happened. Queen e7, excellent. Remember that you want to pressure on this. Then white took, queen took. Now we want to go h4 and h3. Queen c1, trying to trade the queen. No thank you, queen f6. And now finally h4. So all your pieces, knight, bishop and queen are attacking and now you're having another piece joining the attack. That's too much for white to defend and white is lost. So h4, 9, e3. So now what would happen if white play bishop h2, then you go queen rook g8, sorry. And if white trying to do this, you do this and you really attack g2 and you're gonna move very, very quickly. You could also take here, take here, the queen f4, and you have a winning position as well. Bishop e3, and then if you try to do this, this is completely winning. Um, as you come here, even if white exchanges, you go here and you play h3, rook d2, and this is overwhelming position. So in the game, 9e3, and h takes g3, and white resign. This is our second game. The next video will cover the setup against a different white setup. Thank you very much.